Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jana Martinez and today I'm going to show you how I crochet this beautiful pot holder or hot pad. For the pattern, additional information and links to my social media, please check out the description box below. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking this video, sharing the YouTube link with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Now let's get started. To begin, I have chosen some cotton worsted weight yarn. You will also need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle to sew in ends. Because this pot holder is worked in two parts, the back side and the front side, we are going to be doing the back side first. Create a slip knot. and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to your very first chain to form a ring. So insert your hook, grab your working yarn, and pull it through, and then through the loop on your hook. For this pattern, I will be using the chain at the beginning of each round to count as a stitch. Round one of the back, chain three. One, two, three. That will count as our first double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet into the ring. So yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the second two loops for a double crochet. Chain one and place two more double crochet into the ring. So this will be our repeat. Two double crochet, chain one. We want to continue around until we have six sets of two double crochet. So we have two so far and we're going to do one chain one, two chain one, and go around. Here I have my six sets of two double crochet, all separated by a chain one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and of course the last thing I did was chain one, and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of our very first chain three. For round two, we're going to be placing a double crochet into each one of our double crochets, and then into the chain one spaces, we're going to be placing a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So to begin, of course, I am chaining three. Now double crochet into your next double crochet. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the chain one space. And then we're going to repeat this around. So double crochet into each one of your next two double crochet, and then double crochet, chain one, double crochet into each one of your chain one spaces. I'll meet back up with you when this row is finished. Here I am at the end of round two, and that last chain one space, of course, I did my double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and slip stitching to the top of my chain three. Now to begin round three, we're going to be basically mimicking exactly what we did for round two. So each double crochet is going to get a double crochet, and then into these chain one spaces, we're going to be placing a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So there's my chain three at the beginning, my second double crochet, my third double crochet, and here I am at a chain one space. So it gets a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then the next four stitches are going to get double crochet. Continue all the way around, and remember when you get to the very end, you're going to have another double crochet right before you slip stitch. So there's your chain one space, but don't forget that double crochet. Here I am with round three complete, and now I have two, four, six stitches in between the chain ones. To begin round four, chain three. One, two, three. It's going to be, again, almost exact repeat of round two and round three. We're just going to place a double crochet into each one of our double crochets, and then into our chain one space, place a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. At the end of this round, I'll show you how my work is looking. Here is round four complete, 
And between our chain ones, we now have two, four, six, eight double crochet. Now round five is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be placing a treble stitch into the double crochet before and after the chain one. And into the chain one, we're going to have two trebles, chain one, two trebles. Chain three to begin round five. One, two, three. Double crochet into your next three stitches. One, two, three. Now here we are at the stitch right before our chain one space. So we want to treble into it. To treble crochet, you want to yarn over twice. One, two. Insert your hook into the stitch. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the second two loops. Yarn over, and pull through the last two loops. Now into the chain one space, we want to place two treble, chain one, two treble. There's my first treble. Second treble, chain one, and two more treble. One, two. Then treble into the double crochet on the other side of the chain one. You have to move those stitches over a little bit. Then double crochet all your in-between stitches and repeat this for every chain one space. I'll see you again for round six. For round six, we are going to be placing a treble into each one of our stitches. And when we get to a chain one space, we're going to place two treble, chain one, two treble. At the beginning of round six, chain four as a replacement for our first treble. Now just treble into each one of these stitches until we get to the chain one, and then I can meet back up with you. Here I am at the chain one space, so I just need two treble, chain one, two treble into that space. So here's my first treble, my second treble, chain one, and two more treble. One, and two. And then treble into each one of your stitches until the next chain one space. I'll meet back up with you at the end of this round. Here is what my work looks like at the end of row six. Now row seven is going to be a repeat of row six. Of course, you're just going to have more stitches in between. So once you get to your chain two space, place two treble, chain one, two treble, and start off with a chain of four. At the end of this round, I'll meet back up with you to show you how my work is looking. Here is my work at the end of row seven, and you can fasten off from here so we can begin the front side of the pot holder. Now we can start the front side of the pot holder. Just like with the back side, we want to create a slip knot, chain five, and slip stitch to form a ring. After creating the ring, chain three to begin round one. One, two, three. This chain three will count as our first double crochet. Double crochet into the ring. And then chain two. One, two. We're going to repeat this five more times. After you have your six sets of two double crochet, you want to slip stitch to the top of your chain three. To begin round two, slip stitch over to your chain two space, right here. And now we're going to place two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet into our chain two spaces. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna chain three to begin. That's our first double crochet. Then double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three and two more double crochet into the same space. One, two. 
and we're going to do this for each chain two space. Two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. So right from that double crochet, we're going to hop over and do that into the next chain two space. And chain three for me, and two more. Double crochet. Continue this all the way around, and when we get back over here, I can meet back up with you for the next step. Here is my round two complete. Now round three is going to be very similar to round two. Into each one of these chain spaces, we're going to place three double crochet, chain four, and three double crochet. Then in between those, we're going to have a chain, one chain. So to begin, I'm going to slip stitch over to this chain space and chain three. One, two, three for my first double crochet. Then double crochet two more. One, two, chain four. One, two, three, four, three double crochet into the same space. One, two, three. Chain one and repeat all the way around. At the end of this round, I'll show you how my work is looking. Here is my work at the end of round three. To begin round four, I'm going to slip stitch over to this first chain space. So I'm going to do one, two, three more slip stitches, and then chain three for my first double crochet. And for this round, we're going to have four double crochet, chain five, four double crochet into our chain four spaces. And then instead of just chaining one in between here, we're going to be chaining three. So I will show you how that looks. Now we need here is three more double crochet. So there's my first four double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Four more double crochet into the same space. One, two, three, four, chain three, one, two, three, and then repeat all the way around. Here is my work at the end of round four. To begin round five, chain three as your first double crochet. One, two, three. Then double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. Now into these chain five spaces, we're going to have eight stitches. And that's going to start off with two double crochet, two treble, chain one, two treble, and two double crochet. So I'm going to do that here with you. Two double crochet, two treble, chain one, and now two more treble, and two double crochet. One, two for me. So that's how that's looking. Now place a, a double crochet into each one of these four stitches right here. One, two, three, four for me. Into our chain three space here. Into the second chain, we want to place a single crochet. To single crochet, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops for the single crochet. And then go right from that single crochet into four double crochet. 
and then into your chain five space, you're going to have two double crochet, two treble, chain one, two treble, two double crochet. Then four double crochet into your previous four stitches there. Single crochet into your second chain on the chain three, and then repeat all the way around. At the end of this round, I'll meet back up with you for the next step. At the end of round five, you want to fasten off because the last two rounds are going to be in the same color as you chose for the back of your pot holder. To begin round six, you want to fasten your new color. And the first two stitches are going to be a treble decrease. And how I do my treble decrease when I'm also including a chain at the beginning is I chain two, one, two, and then I simply treble into the next stitch. That way when I come back around, I just slip stitch to the top here and that becomes one stitch. Next, treble into the following stitch. Then double crochet into the next five stitches. When you get to this chain space, we can meet back up for the next step. Into the chain space, we're going to have a double crochet, treble, chain one, treble, double crochet. So here I am starting off with a double crochet, then treble, chain one, treble, double crochet. Then double crochet your next five stitches and I'm going to meet back up with you. So here we have a single crochet and then one, two, three stitches from our previous round. So this first stitch we're going to treble into. And then these two stitches we are going to treble two together. So to do that, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have our four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, and then stop, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We now have five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, and then these last three loops, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops to join those together as one stitch. So then for this single crochet here, you're just going to skip over that and start at the beginning again. So repeat this all the way around with a treble two together, then treble in next stitch, double crochet your next five double crochet, into your chain one space, double crochet, treble, chain one, treble, double crochet. Double crochet your next five stitches, treble, into the next stitch. These last two stitches before your single crochet, treble two together. Skip that single crochet and repeat. At the end of this round, I'll meet back up with you for the last round. Now round seven is going to be very similar to round six. We're going to start off with a treble decrease of these two stitches. So as I did before, I'm going to chain two and then treble into the next stitch. So there's my first two treble decrease. Then treble into the following stitch, and then double crochet the next six stitches. Once you get to the chain one space, do exactly what you did in the last round and place a double crochet, treble, chain one, treble, and double crochet. Then double crochet six down this side, and then we can meet back up over here and I can show you how the valley looks. So these next three stitches here, we're going to treble and then treble two together. 
and then we'll start the repeat again with treble two together, like over here. And here my repeat is ready to start over again. Once this round is finished, I will show you how my work is looking. After round seven, you can fasten off and sew in all your ends. Then we can put the two pieces together. You want to begin by placing your two pieces wrong side together. So these are my two right sides, so I'm just going to place them like this. Start in the chain space at one of the corners. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the same space. Then working through both layers of your work, you're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way down the pot holder. So here you can see I'm going through both the layers. Once we get over to this chain space right here, I'm going to meet back up with you because then we can make a little loop for a hanger. So you want to just single crochet into that chain space and then chain 16 and single crochet back down into that same space. And then continue with your single crochet into each one of the stitches all the way around. When you get to your corners, do exactly what you did over here. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Then you can slip stitch to finish and sew in all your ends. Here are my pot holders all finished. I think they're going to make a really cute gift or to decorate my kitchen for the winter season. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, liking it, sharing the YouTube link with your friends, leaving me a comment, and subscribing to this channel. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!